welcome back to my channel uh doing a swatching video today it's gonna be my first of 2024 which i'm really excited about um i am gonna swatch three inks and do it like this because there might be a bit of a thing oh don't look don't look oh no it's all the way around okay um these two were given to me by an awesome new pen friend um abby in the us she sent me some really beautiful ink and i'm trying to make some videos that I can really just focus on some of the ones she gave me and then mix some others into others. Um, so I wanted to swatch these two and then I thought I haven't actually ever done a page where there's kind of been like three, I don't think. Um, so I was going to do another fan favourite, actually personal favourite, um, that fits, oh I showed you the colour, oh no, that fits in with the theme. All right, I'd say enough jibber jabber but I mean we're kind of here for my ramble aren't we? All right, so first up is Sailor, um, their um, collaboration with Tinturias Spicy Chipotle. And I'm very excited about trying this ink. I've seen people swatch it. Um, it looks fantastic. I've just lost my syringe. Can't find my actual blunt tip syringe, but I have this one. So we'll see how that goes. So what I was saying was I've seen quite a few people swatch this ink. It's always looked beautiful um, and really, really great. So I really wanted to give it a try. Don't overthink it, just go. And there's another one. Oh, the name's going to um, escape me. But they did, from memory, they released two inks together. I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments. And I always try and not describe the colour or not think too much about the colour um, when it's through the snaplock bag because it can be quite different once you lift up. Oh, I also forgot this under. So let's do that unless I've bled through already. I've bled through already. That's so annoying. Um, okay, the first thing that jumps out of me... Uh, at me and I know I've spoken about this before right. zoom in a little bit for y'all um is noticing like I, I think it's the, the saturation levels or almost what I kind of call like the heaviness of the ink um sometimes if you get lots of those little kind of spider webby lines for me that's usually a less saturated ink and then the ones that are quite saturated kind of stick to the the plastic a bit more and therefore you get kind of more big big clumps like that and even when you lift up off the plastic it's not in lots of little dots it's kind of in a bit of a splodge but looking at that I think that looks incredible I love the depth you can see a black halo coming up and in the right pen I'm guessing you get some really beautiful shading with this as well um What's jumping out at me in terms of what it could remind me of maybe is um, Robert Oster chocolate, maybe. Though this has, it's not that it's so much more of a red, it's like more of a, it is, I guess, maybe more of a brown. It's like a brown burgundy is what I'd call it. And there's a magpie outside. Um, but look at just the depth you're getting. Oh, it's really beautiful. I can understand why people like it. So this is... Make sure I spell this properly. Wow. It writes down a really nice line. Um, in, li uh, in line of actually what I was just saying, I, I do think this ink is on the drier side, whether I'm relating like dry and, and heavy in that sense. Um, you can just feel, I just felt that nib more under the paper and some, and you can see that saturation as well because you're not getting tons of, um, you're not really getting any shading actually. So maybe I take back my shading comment. It's putting down just quite a nice consistent line and the depth you're getting is more in those darker halo-y bits versus like when it shades but that is spicy chipotle and I'll just clean my syringe oh 
Okay, so next up from pen friend Abby is one that has been on my list to try for so long and I'm so excited. It's Colorverse Brunch Date. And actually at this point, unless you saw the label, what one have I pulled out from my sample collection to go with this theme? Whatever this theme may be. Who knows? Where should we do this one? Hmm. I do one like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here. Move this one down. Wasn't in the camera. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Oh, I'm so, so excited to see what this looks like. Every time I've seen someone either just swatch this, um, even sometimes seeing like, you know, like on a website, the online swatch, which you, it, can be quite different sometimes. I've loved it there. Um, seeing people then ink it up in pens. I'm pretty sure I've seen Karina um, ink it up a few times. Um, and I've loved it. Now they were really, really big kind of globs I put down. The ink does seem to run quite a bit under the paper. I'm just seeing if I can spread it out a bit more. I don't know if you can see, can you see those little tiny the dots are kind of what I was trying to explain with this one. It, it didn't come off the, the paper like that. It came off more as like a splodge. And I'm sure if you look at any reputable pen site, the way that they will describe ink characteristics is gonna be splodge, dots, globby. So, you know, I feel like I could get um, paid professionally to do this. Where do we want to write that? Let's write it in here. So this is Okay, so I realize I didn't talk too much about the color, but I want to talk about the ink characteristics first compared to this so, um much more of a wetter ink. It just writes really beautifully. It feels nice. And then look at these colors put, coming through. I see peach and orange and pink. It's so beautiful. That's the, the, the fine nib. Um, but you can see there, I think this is in that, um, that realm, if you, you know me, like light colors, but have to be able to read them because I just do like full page journaling. And I think this sits in that okay pile. Um, because of some of these darker shades that are coming through, which is really gorgeous. Wow, what a beautiful color. I think from that series I've tried, tried Coffee Break and is Delicious Sleep in that one, the, the purple? I'm not sure. And then I, is there one or two more? I feel like there's a green. And I mean, there's usually always a blue in something. Okay, last but not least, and I'll, I'll zoom back out so we can see the whole page together. So last but not least, um, this is one from actually pen friend H and I thought it kind of could fit into the theme being of this colorway, but also of food. Um, and that is Dominant in Industry and Wonder Pen's Ginger Chicken, which is an ink I just love so much. Um, and I thought it could maybe fit in between these ones quite nicely. This, of course, is in pairing with um, Tuna Grey, uh, which is also, if you haven't tried, a really, really beautiful ink. Um, actually that I really enjoy. I've inked that a couple times and now I'm in that kind of stage of hoarding <laughs> my sample because it's not really an ink that's I don't think available at all actually in Australia and I was very lucky with being sent it from a pen friend but then of course I don't want to like like I could never get it again you know and I love it so much. One day I don't know when one day I'll do like a big international order of something but you know, I need to win the lottery first, I think. And I just want to do these little, little ones down here. 
we'll see. I didn't have it down properly and I didn't have enough coordination, but that's okay. Ooh, see, sometimes I feel like, should I, just, should I just have left it? But then sometimes it turns out nice as well. Okay, so to finish off this little three session of inks, really just wanting to showcase these two beautiful inks from Pen Friend A. Uh, but to finish this off, we have Dominant Industry Wonder Pen's Ginger Chicken. And as I, as I was saying, if you haven't checked out Tuna Grey, definitely do. This for me is a beautiful, who can write and talk at the same time? So this for me is just a really gorgeous, rich um, amber. You've got the greens, the ginger, the brown, the, all of it in there. And I just think it's such a beautiful color. and. It is fantastic in a pen. In my experience, absolutely fantastic in a pen. Um, and just, I don't know, I just really, really love it. And yeah, if if you are somewhere where this ink is available, especially in a, a sample, I don't know why I'm on a sales pitch for ginger chicken. I just really like it. But let's stop talking about that and let's look at the three of them. Um, and I'll bring it up close here. So up the top, Oh, wow. So there is a green sheen on there and it's as it's dried, the spicy chipotle, like it looks so much more burgundy and purple to when I first put it down. So that, wow, that's beautiful. I liked it before, but I like it even more. Um, spicy chipotle. In the middle is ginger chicken, which is dominant industry and wonder pens. And then down the bottom, last but definitely not least, is colorverse brunch tape, which just is so, you know what it is? It's a pretty ink. Um... It just is warm and inviting, but not overpowering. Definitely a different world to up here in terms of saturation, but look at when these, where the inks really try that really dark, dark halo you're getting there. Oh, what a beautiful ink. So thank you uh, for sticking with me. First watching video of 2024, just as I'm trying to find my way back into filming. So a little bit rusty. Um, if you have stayed with me, thank you very much. Um, and if you could hit like and subscribe, that will really help me out and help me try and get back in people's um, feeds because I know I've been away for a while. But um, really enjoyable. I'm, I'm happy that I'm getting back into this because I've missed it a lot. Um, I'll speak to you guys again soon. Bye.